then you can all go and help the top lane. And so you just you never die. You can just all get just help each other and never die. Yeah. So all of this game is about. It's about helping your teammates and your friends. It teaches you how to help. I wish. I wish that's the case. It just teaches you how to be as big of a nuisance as possible. Imitator running away. <laughs> He's trying to run away. Beautiful bundle strike from Heat. And the hook will pull out Imitator, but maybe that's not who you wanted to pull out with the hook. As Sumail draws first blood by bringing down the Heat Monkey King. Yeah. I think that might be worst case scenario for how this game is going to get started. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Like, who? it doesn't matter who you hook, who you save. It's not like they have gold anyway, so... Uh... It's level one, right? It's the worst case scenario. They got the first blood, but it really isn't that big of a deal. Monkey King mm -hmm. even has now five magic magic stick charges, so he's going to have something to, <laughs> to play with in the lane from the bright side. Yeah, who got the first blood? Was Sumail got the first blood. And oh, Sumail. That, that's, yeah. the, that's the worst case scenario. Like him getting that early advantage, like instantly he has a bracer fly, uh, running out to him. That definitely is a problem. Bro, I'm going to use that in my next game. If I die, like, first battle, I'll be like, why are you guys flaming me? I've got five one-charges. What's the issue? Yeah, exactly. Like, the stick is just it's popped up now. All done on purpose, <gasps> man. Chill. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Imitator again. Imitator is in danger. Poboka around him with PQ. Do they have the damage for this? No, they do not. He turns around with a two-hero partner strike. Poboka should be dead and a nice hook back onto PQ. Dragged in the Oracle, but they didn't feel confident enough to go for that grab as well. So they'll keep it at a one kill for two bounty runes. It's not first blood, but at least they get something before the game starts. Yep, and the Pudge is going top. And Sumail is, uh, uh, Pudge is missing him. But uh, most likely what he'll do is just the Twin Gates, right? And you go and you yep. help your Spirit Breaker. Or will it be a three on three action here? Trilane on Trilane mm. top. They're thinking about it. They had an Observer Ward out from Team Master, so they scouted out that both Undyne and Imitator are here. And they're going on to Undyne himself. Sticky Bomb, gonna chase him around here, blows up in his face, Undyne should end up dead. And it is a tri v try to start off affairs, and Team Bright are on the bad end of that tri v try as they lose Undyne's life yet again. Man, I wouldn't... Finding themselves on the back foot. Irving, bottom lane, really low. Is he dead? Oof, barely survives. By the way, I wouldn't call that a tri v try on top lane. Um, Crystal Maiden was just in the trees, running around. That was three <laughs> and two. But uh, yeah, right now they they are switching things up. Imitator is down bottom to help out the Spirit Breaker, who has already uh, used all of his region. So he needs to TP back and charge into the lane. It seems like. And in the meantime, while he's gone, they might just be able to kill off Imitator. And indeed, that is going to be the case. He yeah. dies. Fortunately for him, though, because he took the Twin Gate here, he still has a TP scroll once he respawns. Yeah, te teams really need to put an emphasis on being in the lane as the lane starts. Like, you need your heroes to be there immediately, or this is happening. You're just dying one by mm. one, and it's just a huge mess. By the time you get there as a support, your core has already wasted all his region. He's been zoned out. It's one of the easiest and most sure ways of losing the lane. Mm. There are teams that can pull it off, having one of their supports start on the other side of the map, but you have to get that first blood then. Like, it's imperative. If not, you end up in these circumstances. Top lane, Boboka, him and Undyne just trading damage, but Undyne really struggling here. Yeah, he does have some tangles ready for him, but he, he could actually die the next time he shows up in this wave. Yeah, he tried to hook the Doom, he missed the hook, so... Because of that, he took a lot of hits from Boboka. Gets the hook this time, though. An XXX will get saved by a blast off. Heat does not have Bounder Strike, so instead they're going to content themselves with a kill onto Boboka. If they can find it, Jingu does end up procking, so Heat able to find the last right click. Eh, Boboka doesn't mind about that. He's like, well, I knew that was going to happen. I bought out some items before I went mm -hmm. down, so I'm okay with it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's not like they went for the Infernal Blade build on Doom anyway, right? So they don't really expect to be uh, making kills here. It's more of just surviving. Okay. Doom, well, they, they will get this kill. Sticky Bomb was such a good spell. 
And unfortunately, Heat is still too low level for Bounder Strike to realistically threaten the life of XXX. And Aster putting some pressure out onto this Monkey King. He's getting his CS indeed, but not having an easy time in terms of his positioning in the top part of the map. The hook again from Undying misses Boboka, so he gets to just keep the harass going in the top lane. I mean, this is just silly, right? Like, you're playing... You're playing a techies that used to have 30 damage, 42 damage. <laughs> now he has 70, and the range is the same. <laughs> like, this is the ultimate harass machine. Like, he's had so many good things uh, changed. Like, no wonder he's first phased every single game. But uh, on the mid lane, what's going on? Uh, well, what's going on is Phoenix is getting crushed. A ring. Nah, ring should live, but he has to back. Yeah, look at this. 15 CS versus 25. That's the first blood on Sumail as well, obviously. Mm. Is it supposed to go like this, this matchup? Um, it isn't an easy matchup for Ember, but add on top of that uh, an early instant bracer on snap, and yep. When he when you Gosh. give the mid laner a first kill, it's supposed to go like this. Sumail right now almost doubling up the CS of his counterpart in the mid lane. And Phoenix, level four, Sumail, level five and a half. Jeez. Scary times on the map. Yeah, is Boboka gonna live? Probably not. Ah, uh, no, he will not. Brought down by Heat, he can't find Undyne. And Heat actually wants to chase for more, looking for XXX. There's no Infernal Blade, no more Scorched Earth. Jingle will proc. One more right click should kill him. Damn, nice. And Heat gets a double kill on this Monkey King in the top lane. Very, very nicely done by him. Double kill. Got those power threads now completed. The lane is becoming harder and harder. Like, you won't be able to lane here as a Doom very soon. Mm. I mean, we're seeing why both of us were like, oh, you see Doom playing Monkey King? You feel good about the situation. The Doom, lowest CS of all the cores at the moment. Middle, they might try to make something happen as they're bringing an Undyne here, but Imitator not positioned fully. Imitator. Does have the Frostbite, but can't necessarily go towards Sumail, as you already used it on Piku, fighting over oh, the Shroud, and now they're going on to Phoenix. Phoenix eating damage from the Morty's Kisses. Piku literally just walked up to him. Fortunes ends him, and they get that kill. Are we sure that Sumail doesn't speak Chinese? Because the team communication here on the side of Team Master has just been impeccable to watch in these series. Yeah, it definitely feels like he's learning, and learning quickly and learning a lot. Imitator? Should be dead here, Sumail. Comes in, fire snap quickie after the blast off. Oh, they have two ways of jumping on you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ah, uh, yeah. It, the team, team efforts right there. Also, Sumail, I believe he's building, just like any other universal hero, he's going into that oh, Atos. Atos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does gosh. feel good on him, right? Like, it gives them more catch, too. And you saw what it took to kill down the Ember. Only Fortune's End. That's it. Yep. Right? Like, one single purge one single route and they got the ember ember is still level five right now so he still has to be careful as he knows his life is not necessarily safe and he can't chase this creep wave because he's level five so he has to still just play so far back yeah. phoenix really struggling here in game two to have any kind of impact he's rotating down bottom he does have that he wants the wisdom ah, rune. wisdom rune yeah 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 to get yeah. that six that feels bad if you're a support <laughs> really does but he needs to get it uh once he gets it uh, he's still not six. Oh god <laughs> dude samil's level seven right now yeah the charge all mid. right uh, i think they're gonna swap lanes they're gonna put the uh, spirit breaker metal because he's at high enough level or at least tanky enough that he doesn't die as easily he might still die though spirit breaker will die because maybe. they have three yeah. heroes around him there's fire snap cookie blast off and Irving has charged in eight seconds. Eight seconds too long. Loses his life. You know, that could have been Phoenix. That could easily have been Phoenix. So they had to make something change on the map. But sadly, somebody's going to have to die whenever you make these kind of decisions. Is it better that it's not Phoenix? I'm not even sure anymore. I get Spirit Breaker. It doesn't need as much. Doom, top lane. They are trying. Yeah, they might try on Doom, but they also might try on to those Pudges. There was Vision onto him as well. Imitator drops down the Frostbite. And he's gonna end up in an awkward position. Hook back, but the salvation will not be there. As Undyne just has to watch his ally die. And he might die himself. The Mortis Kisses, half of them connected flush. XXX still doesn't have the Infernal Blade. So this chase, not as easy as you would want, but they should still have the damage. Blast off will be there. 
But Boca gets a double kill somehow off of this. And this Techies. Uh, Lizard, why has Boboka been involved in eight of the nine kills that Asta has right now? Yeah, he's just been everywhere and he's, uh, he's tried to save that blast off. He didn't want to really use it on the patch in the end. Had to, in the end, in his Oracle down bottom. With uh, the purge, maybe. Oop. The RP is there. They don't... Do they have uh, the... They should! Oh my god, he barely survived. Yeah. The heal at the last tick of the Purifying Flames kept him up. Yeah, it really didn't look like they had en enough damage anyway. Uh, because the purge didn't connect first as well. He was in the slight of fist. They are stealing some creeps here, but they might die for them. Boboka will definitely die here. The question is, will he be chased into the grave by XXX Undyne? Has a hook available. Sumail is here, turns around at the scatter blast. They hook him back on XXX. Imitator throws out the freeze. Undying falling very low. Two hero boundless strike. Oh, and they nice do kill charge. Undying, but Irving finds a two hero charge, keeping them both inside the Wukongs. Sumail is able to escape with the fire snap cookie. But XXX will not be as lucky as Team Bright finally punch back and get some huge amount of gold, especially into the hands of this Monkey King for Heat. Yeah, it's funny how what little amount of damage they actually possess on Bright because that charge looked to me okay. Both of them should die immediately and. They barely got the Doom. Not to even talk about Smith, yeah. who uses Atos mid. Atos out, Fortune's in to hold Irving in position. He does manage to stop the blast off with the charge through onto Boboka. But it's not going to help keep him alive though. Sumail still finishes him off. They can still open up onto this tower. Kisses. Okay, so I just realized we have double root imitator. Oh, you're so dead, my friend. I don't think you have the Jays on necessary to juke this. <laughs> What's funny so, is he just kept on <laughs> using them in a straight line and Crystal made and yeah, he, he just tried to juke left, right, which means he stayed in the straight line and died at the end. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so what's the plan now for Team Bright? They are 5k gold behind. The Monkey King is still farming, but he's gone for a fighting build or the usual build now. We don't see Monkey Kings going for like Battle Furies all that often anymore. So he's not going to be farming with this Echo Saber. So what's the plan next for Team Bright? Is there any place they can take a fight at the moment? Yeah, once the Echo Saber is up, I think you take a fight with Monkey as soon as possible. I think he's uh, also your strongest hero at the moment, so why not? RP. Oh. Yeah, Monet popped RP just to make sure that he can escape away from the damage of Team Bright. They were charging him with Irving, but they cancel out the charge as they throw in the Fire Snap quickly. Throwing Monet forward onto Imitator. Boboka, of course, finishes Stop him up. 4-4-6 four, four, on this Techies. In the meantime, though, a fight happening on the other side. XXX, he doesn't have his allies nearby him. And he will be isolated and brought down here. Best case scenario for Team Bright. Another kill into the hands of Heat. They need to overstack this Monkey King if they want to have a chance in this game, too. Yeah, he's uh, right now your carry and your playmaker at the same time. They are rotating in from the Twin Gate, though. They have the heat. Go back. Uh, they have the snap, but they don't have the ulti of her. So no more Teeks kisses. Atos is but there. There's no mana on the Monkey King. Hook will be there. Woo! Shout out on Dying. Thanks for sticking around, buddy. Nicely, nicely so done. Now... They will take down the tier one at least. No Monkey King kill, but uh, the tier one will fall, and there's a smoke. Now with that same hero with Monkey King. This should be like a smoke on a Magnus plus a charge, I feel like. Mm. They don't have vision on the mag just yet, though. The charge will finally it. connect onto him. The hook will miss, but the charge will not. Irving, though, sadly doesn't have the mana nor the cooldown for the nether strike. So wasn't even going to be able to bounce back the Magnus to begin with. Yeah, that was sad. If they connected the hook, I think that Magnus definitely could have died. But this way, it was way too deep. And if they went on him, they would be punished. Mm -hmm. They are going to try to push the tier 1 tower bottom though. With the Psycho Saber Heat applying a little bit of pressure, opening up some space. They very critically want to get some control over the Twin Gates and the Roshan area. Six K gold lead more for Aster. They just continue to farm away. Since he's the most farmed hero on the map for Monet, uh, he's going to be building into the Harpoon build for this Magnus, and unlike in the previous game, you know, when we saw this Magnus, it's not like he's playing into Silence, so BKB isn't as essential for him to have a role to play in this game. Yeah, he's just farming up, 
he went the mask of madness into, like you called, the harpoon. I, everything you said is correct. I don't even think it's a good BKB game. Maybe a Manta afterwards or something like that. But BKB mm -hmm. is solid, no, not necessarily too too important. You have Spirit Breaker with Nether Strike. You have Pudge as well. So those charges will be dwindled down by uh, them too. So maybe not even the best BKB game. Mm. Manta feels good to dispel the roots. And I suppose maybe you buy like some Sanj and some SNY, get super tanky, get more status resist, yeah. just survive these fights. I think that's a good call as well. He's farming so very he deep. To do. Yeah. He's farming very deep and very close to the enemy lines, but... Oh no, Phoenix, 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 Phoenix. So Phoenix was here in towards the tier 2, didn't yep. have our safety remnant, and... Uh, you know, that's the worst part about that kill, is that Asta will actually feel bad for having committed the Doom. I think they had the damage without it. Probably, yeah, but it's Ember. He's elusive, so killing him off is more important. However, killing him off is it that important. Like, he has almost as much network as Teki, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, Boboka, if he continues farming, he's gonna catch up. He's gonna have more, even. Gosh. Just give him a minute. And dude, Techies farms really fast, honestly. So I would, uh, I think, definitely back you on that one, as you're gonna get more gold for himself right now if they find this kill onto Imitator. Irving, though, runs a little bit of interference, charging through on that one. They only have three on the side of Team Master, so they don't want to dive too deep. These heroes, though, are getting uber tanky. We're getting a D-Lance next for Sumail. So he's just gonna keep getting tankier and tankier. Does he go with Lightning here, or do you just stop off at the run of Atos for this hero? I think uh, Atos is fine. Like, you could get Gleipnir as well, but I think Atos is completely fine at this point. Maybe some more burst damage instead. Some Dezo, mm. some crits. Maybe that's what you can go for. So you were saying earlier that you would potentially like to see Team Bright fight around this Monkey King, utilize the Wukong's command. Mm -hmm. he, he wants BKB next, so I think they missed their window to just fight with Echo Saber. As soon as BKB arrives, you should also have Maelstrom on Ember. Is it easier for them to fight at that point, or do you have to wait for another timing because Team Aster will be a bit too strong? Well, he's going to have the BKB in, what, like a minute or two? That he can disassemble the Echo and just build it, so you should be able to fight very, very soon. I think you could still fight, you could still get some kills like Monet. He's running in with a harpoon and it looks like he is... Yeah, uh, you know what they say, there's... Uh, he comes in, but there's three of us all alone, so we need to run. <laughs> yep. Magnus goes into his own jungle, but scares three pe people away from him. Or well, by his lonesome. Now, there was a potential charge going on to Sumail, but it got cancelled out by Irving. And unfortunately for Team Bright, one of the things that has made this series so difficult is that they have legitimately been behind in the vision battle. The aggressive wards from Team Asta throughout the series have been so difficult for them to deal with. It's almost like they have perfect vision at all times of what Team Bright is up to. And they're going to use that vision middle to try to get a quick kill onto Imitator. Heat will cancel out the Bounder Strike. Oh, the Morty's Kisses. And now Sumail might be in danger. Two heroes caught with the Searing Chains. There's going to be the Freezing Field from Imitator. He does die, but he sets up for the Wukong's Command from this Monkey King. Can they finally kill Sumail? No. False Promise buys him time. Oh, Arthur nice will RP. die, though. And there's the RP. Gets more damage coming in from the Techies. And even inside the Wukong's Command, even with BKB on Heat, has to run himself away. It is a full five hero wipe. All they got was the Oracle. And the target they really wanted, Sumail, is back at full HP, Lizard. Yeah. Nice false promise, sacrificing himself, but getting that kill. Also, the fight didn't start well for Aster. Man, Sumail used Mortimer's kisses on a Crystal Maiden, didn't even finish her off, got it, got it cancelled by uh, the Bounder Strike from Monkey King. Still, they just couldn't find a way to eliminate anyone. I think a big, big problem was the hook missed here. Like, you needed to um, put Sumail out of position at least a little bit that way, but uh, he wasn't out of position. Oracle as well, look at that. Uses the stick, survives just long enough. Just long enough to survive there. 
And it leads into a fight for them. Back into the real game, into the real nice world. Hook. We do see Sumail finally getting hooked back towards Undyne. The question is, do they have the damage? So far, they do not. There was a beautiful boundless strike, but the skewer was even better. Forcing the Monkey King and Pudge far away from Sumail and forcing them to dead deaths. Two have fallen. Phoenix trying to escape. His remnants aren't in the best position here, Liz. A lot of ATOS slows him up on the high ground. Sumail camping the remnant spot. So caught between a rock and a hard place, and he just ends up dead. You know, look, looking at this game, watching this GG, 18 minutes in. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. Wow. I think okay. Monkey had enough. <laughs> he just had enough. I mean, wow, okay. I feel like they should have continued playing uh, just, just for the heck of it.